G'day folks, tonight I'm going to do something different, I'm going to give you a voiceover for the walk around Bungalow Road. If you're travelling by motorbike it's a good idea not to park too close to Bungalow Road because you get so many people who just box you in and park scooters everywhere and you can't get out. Coming soon folks, I'm doing a Bungalow Road guide, so over the next probably two months I'll be going into every single venue in Bungalow Road and checking it out and I'll give you my opinion in one video or two videos, um, see how it takes, but um, yes yeah, so I'm going to give you a total guide to Bungalow Road. Welcome to Bungalow Road. It's August 5th, 10.30 p.m. at night, and Bungalow Road is pretty busy as normal. Nothing like it used to be, but there's a few people here. You probably noticed the first couple of um, bars on the right hand side had things blurred out. Now something's been legalised in Thailand which uh, YouTube don't like and they won't show or you're not allowed to show so it's blurred out for that reason. As we get closer to the middle of the street, the street gets busier and uh, more action starts happening. You get the popular bars like the Kangaroo Bar and Rockstar Bar and all the bars in between. Great places just to hang out and have a drink. Plenty of girls to talk to and plenty of fun to be had. probably notice some of the girls turning away from the camera it's some of them um, they're okay with it they just don't want to be the star on my video that's all um, they're okay they, but they just don't want to be the highlight the girls that do cover up I will blur them out so um, yeah I'm not gonna put anybody up who doesn't really want to be up Coming up on our right is the Rockstar Bar. Not only is it a great bar because it has great girls and stuff, but it's also open during the day and they have girls there during the day. And it's a lot of fun and you can take your partner there or, you know, chill out and um, they'll treat them really well. So it's a really good place to go. Okay, coming up the Love Shack. Now, this is not a bad place, just a quiet place to have a beer. It's also got a, a lady there. She's only little. Oh, there she is. And she'll get up and dance, and she dances her head off all night. She's a, she's a crack up. Sweetie Bar on our right, great place to hang out and have live bands every night and uh, yeah, really good environment in there so it's worth checking out.
New York bar on our right as well. Another great bar with great bands and a great environment. It's just, those two bars are probably my favourite um, bars for bands and live music. Always a good show, always good fun. Tiger bars, usually very popular and they're very close to all the big clubs and stuff so there's a lot of people hanging around here and um, just hanging out for a drink. Girls get up on the poles and have a dance and um, very popular and there's some pretty cool girls here too so. Yeah, what can I say to that? It speaks for itself eh? Again up here I've had to cut out and blur out a few things, um, that stuff that I'm, YouTube doesn't like you showing is um, that few stalls and bits and pieces up here as well, they're just popping up everywhere. Just to our right this is a very popular spot for people just to sit and watch what's happening. Um, the bars cater for you, bring your drinks and stuff, so you can just sit there and they'll, they'll look after you. And there's also street entertainment. Tonight it's a magician, I've seen him before, and he wasn't that great to be honest. <laughs> last bar on the right, Red Hot, another bar that has live bands and it's a pretty big bar, it's got plenty of room for plenty of people and it's um, pretty popular. I prefer the other two that I showed you a bit further back but um, a lot of people still go there. don't know if you've noticed but uh, there are a few kebab shops along Bungla Road and um, in Australia I'd kill for a late night kebab after a big night but I've had a few here and I'm sorry to tell you they're not that great. There are uh, quite a few shops along Bungalow Road where you can buy t-shirts, shorts, bags, leather goods, you name it, you can buy it, GoPro sticks, everything, caps, basketball shirts and all knockoffs, shoes, everything. But um, haggle guys because most of the prices you'll be offered will be double at least what you really need to pay. Now you, there's guys coming around selling hats and they'll say that they're 600 baht but you can buy them for 250 baht which is $10. So you can save a lot from the initial price. Coming up on our right, um, this is the um, area with lots of clubs and stuff. This has got Ibiza, Illusions. Illusions is really popular. Um, apparently it gets packed in there. There's also sugar on the other side of the road. I haven't been into any of these clubs, but I'm going to go and check them all out and give you my thoughts in that video I was telling you about. But yeah, plenty of people lining up to, uh, to get in. Coming up ahead, lady boys. Not all of them are lady boys, but some of them are, so <laughs> I'll leave it to you to work out which is which. Could make for an interesting night if you had too much to drink.
ahead to our right, Soy Dragon. Uh, this has some great bars up the front. It's a bit quiet down the back, but um, down the outside there's a heap of gentlemen's clubs and go-go bars and um, places like that for you to check out. Now, I'll be checking these out in that video that I'm going to make that I told you about. So um, look out for that one. For any of you people that have been here before, if you know of a decent pizza place, please let me know because I'm hanging for a pizza. It's been six months and I haven't found a decent pizza yet. Oh no, I've been spotted. Check out this lady boy, he's an absolute crack up. <laughs> he does this every time he sees me. <laughs> oh. On the right here guys, there are go-go bars and gentlemen's clubs. I checked out three of them last night. That's all I can do because you got to buy a beer in each one. So I went and had three beers and checked out three clubs and um, I'll be putting them on my um, video that I'm going to make that I'm telling you about. So coming soon. At the corner on our right here, this is Richie's Bar, good bar, good girls, very friendly, but, uh, cheap beers, good place to hang out. Okay, Pink Paradise on our right as well. Um, this is a good bar as well, they have good girls, um, cheap beers. But I have to watch what I show here because sometimes it can be uh, a little bit revealing. So I can't show you this. Got to keep it rated G, folks. Now this soy, I don't know what it's called, but it's always um, good value. You come down here and there's a mix of um, really good girls and a heap of ladyboys down the end. And they have a ladyboy show, so it's uh, really worth a, a look. And then you see some girls want to cover up, um, but there's some really friendly girls and they, they always wave and want to have a chat with you and stuff like that. So it's real good value, worth checking out. And again, there's bars of cheap beers, so check it out guys, really worth it. Okay, the lady boy in the jeans is an absolute crack up and always puts on a show. And the other lady boy <laughs> just looks like a bloke that's just had a shave. He's a shocker. And here's the lady boy show. Anyway, it's worth checking out, folks. They used to scare me, but you know, now they just make me laugh. Most of them are just dead set crazy.
Okay, so back to the strip for another lap. Um, I don't usually do this, but tonight it was a bit quiet in some spots, so I thought I'd just check it out again and um, have another look because it can change in 10 minutes. So Anyway, this is Bar Funk. This is a pretty um, popular place. Big club DJs pumping the music out. They have dancing girls that get up on the bar and dance and um, very, very popular. A lot of freelancers go there as well. I better mention you see a few lady boys there as well too. Just to our right folks, the Aussie bar. Now this is just like an Aussie pub. It's a great place to go. The girls are just waitresses, so they won't hassle you. They will hit you up for a drink if they can, and um, they'll play pool with you. And But you can also buy food, hamburgers, chips, all Aussie-style food, as well as Thai food. Great bar to just uh, go and chill and have a beer. Yeah, as you can see, she's really serious about hiding from me. Dublin Irish Pub. That's one I forgot about, folks. That's got a band, and it always seems to have a few people in there, so I think it's pretty good. They also sell uh, food and stuff, so, so it's probably worth checking out. I might go in there when I'm doing my uh, rounds for the other video. Okay, the Star Club, another one that plays live music and has bands and stuff, but um, they tend to play a lot of Thai music as well, a lot of the Thai locals go there, and um, yeah, it gets pretty crowded sometimes, it's got a good atmosphere, good place, so it's worth checking out as well. Yes, yeah, a couple more lady boys there. A heap of people have been asking, do I have a, a buy me a beer link or a buy me a coffee link? Well now I do. It's located in the description below the video, folks. And if you'd like to buy me a beer, that'd be awesome. Here she is folks, the uh, pocket rocket from the love shack, always dancing and always smiling. Remember folks, if you like my channel, please subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, it doesn't cost you anything. And I have a stack of other videos about um, places in Phuket and good things to do, so check them out, you'd be doing me a huge favour. Thanks.